Hi, my name is Ron Deutsch, and I'm the Executive Director at New Yorkers for Fiscal Fairness. We're a statewide organization and a coalition of many, many organizations from across New York State, all dedicated to fighting for a fair and just tax policy in New York. I have to say I'm incredibly frustrated these days. Um, I'm working on the same issues I've been working on for a very long time now. Um, we just simply can't seem to get our elected officials to focus on our upside down tax system here in New York State. We have the greatest income inequality of any state in this, in this nation. That's the biggest gap between those that earn the most and those that earn the least. As a matter of fact, in New York State, the top 1% of New Yorkers control 35% of all the income generated in this state. In New York City, it's even more stark than that. Top 1% controls 45% of the income generated in New York City. I mean, those are staggering, staggering numbers, and that cannot be sustained in, in a civil society, right? You can't just have one class of people that's doing exceptionally well while the rest of us are struggling to make ends meet. So our elected officials need to start thinking about the other 99% of us, the people that are affected by the school aid cuts, kids who are in overcrowded classrooms, uh, localities that can't make ends meet because of the tax cap and because of the state reneging on their state revenue sharing commitments. You know, we scratch our heads in New York and wonder why our property taxes are high. Well, our property taxes might not need to be so high if we had a progressive income tax system in New York, right? Over the last 30 years, we've cut the top rates of the income tax in New York State in half for the richest New Yorkers. The top rate used to be 15.375% back in the 1970s. Now the top rate after December 31st is going to go back to 6.85%. That's paid by singles making over $20,000 a year and families making over $40,000 a year. That's just not right. So we need to fix this upside down tax system in our state. We need to ask the wealthiest New Yorkers to pay a little bit more basically pay what they're paying now, right? We want to maintain the upper income surcharges on millionaires and billionaires. We're not asking for a lot. Now, the governor is going to say, hey, these folks are going to leave, they're going to go to New Jersey, and they're going to go to Connecticut. Governor, you know that's not true. As a matter of fact, right now there's about 65,000 millionaires in New York State, people who have taxable incomes over a million dollars that pay ta income tax in New York State. 29,000 of them, or 45%, are non-residents. They already live in New Jersey. They live in Connecticut. So this notion that they're going to flee New York State and move to these states is absurd. You also say that you know, we, we have to compete with New Jersey. Well, we are competing with New Jersey. I grant you that. But New Jersey's fixed income tax rates, their permanent rates, are higher than New York State's are. They also have higher property taxes. So the notion that people are going to flee New York again and move to New Jersey is kind of absurd. Um, so I think what we need to do is listen to Warren Buffett, stop coddling the millionaires and billionaires, and start asking them to pay their fair share.